You see this video about a Minecraft mod and a Minecraft mod that's almost as enormous as the thing that it is based on Hammercraft 40k. Yes, Hammercraft 40k. Obviously, if I had to revisit it, there is so much since the last time I actually made a video on this. But maybe I have forgotten how much there actually is, but there is a lot. Today, I'll just go on ahead and focus mostly on two factions the Imperium. Well, yeah, what can I say? Uh, I'm obviously most interested in the faction that's humanity. It is what it is. And also best place marine chapter. Also, I don't know whether I showed in the last one, but yeah, these are all the factions you can actually choose to be. I don't remember whether you could be Tau in the last one. Also, I just wanted to just go ahead and show this. I presume it's only because of the meme, but uh, there is a toaster. It is just a toaster. It is normal bread in Minecraft, so... Oh, it actually works! Praise the Messiah. Huh. Might as well move on to a Mechanicus Villager. Simply just because it's fitting, I suppose? There he is. Oh, they actually have voice lines. I'm positive this mod didn't have as much last time I looked at it. Yep, the volume. I'll Come. take care of it, Lord. Oh, okay. You sell Lasgun, Lasgun ammo, Bolter and... Of course. Yeah, no, praise the toaster. Pray to it. I shall hurry. Okay, that's shockingly enough. Right, you know what? Only that... take me a moment. You know, it's terrifying, almost as if you are kind of understanding what I'm saying, so I'm just... I hear the machine spirit's voice. You know, this is actually kind of getting scary. As you wish, so shall it be done. Okay. I'm just gonna leave the Mechanicus guy. Right, after a little bit of a look at the Mechanicus, because I believe that's the current only thing that's from the Mechanicus in the mod, I'm certain that even more can be added. I don't envy if the mod creator continues working on this and actually tries to add everything. The mod will genuinely get so big that it would take hours to look at it. I mean, I'll do it. A few minutes later. This is called Warhammer 40k, so obviously enough, I need to go ahead and have one faction completely genocide the other. So, let's have some Tau combat first. If the Shapers will it. Oh, these things also speak. We'll get them. Huh. Anyway. It is my duty to serve, if such is the Emperor's will. Yes. Good work, guardsman. Now, take this filthy Xenos' life. Wow. Very quickly and very efficiently. Is it cooked? No, the raw chicken isn't cooked. I mean, I guess Alaskan wouldn't even cook it. It would definitely... I mean, I... <laughs> no. Anyway. But yes, guardsman, take out yes. this crude. I'm glad I don't even need to force you to attack. Good job. But hey, shoot throw? Okay, I'm just gonna grab everything. And let's just go ahead and see how far in the Imperium power scaling wise the Tau actually compare in the opinion of this mod creator. So drone destroy this abominable intelligence. And sure, let's have an armed drone and a shield drone. It doesn't seem like the shield drone did anything, but anyway, the fight was over in a flash, so this is what it is. Right, armored drone against... For duty, for the glory of the Imperium. Okay, a Katachan is definitely stronger, I suppose. They have something like 80 health, and they scream so much as well. But anyway, let's see. 21 armor. A Disney, okay. Next, they have a rifle crude. Let's see what's going to occur. Yep, complete another destruction. It's not even close. I guess an armored drone is stronger than a rifle crude. I don't know why I placed them above it. Next is a crude hound. 35 HP. Not much actually, but. Oh. Oh, it sounds like a pig. Which it is. Actually, no, that's an insult to pigs. Oh, now, talking about insult to pigs, we have the first actual representative of the Tau. Hmm. Wow. It does have far less health, but... Yeah, the armor is... Which I think that's also how it is. The Tau are physically weaker than humans when it comes to just actual physicality, but they're, they're wide-scale technology for their wall-tier combatants. It's definitely bad. But is a single fire warrior stronger than a Katachan? Probably not, because he's gonna get into melee combat. 
It is kind of weird that the fight doesn't immediately begin with every single entity. It should be the fact that every single Imperial unit should absolutely go on ahead immediately and try to genocide everything non-human. Anyway, as I figured, in close combat the Tau got literally devastated in seconds. Oh, there's a grenade launcher. Show me how strong is a grenade launcher. Let's see. Okay. It's decent. <laughs> wow. Oh, how did... Oh, that soldier fought to the very end and I guess he was able to fulfill his duty. What about the Pathfinder? Mm-hmm. You're about to go both blind and deaf. Wait, wait, he's actually putting up more of a fight than he fought and he does do a lot of damage. Come on, you can do it. Almost... Yes! Yeah, I have my favorites. Anyway, uh, yeah, the Katachan is stronger than basically every single member of the Tao species, at least currently in the mod. However, we do have this thing. And here I do think we actually will need some artillery because uh, a single Katachan guard I don't think will be able to do much. Even though this is about the average thing they actually do fight on their home planet. Okay, they did 80 health. That's actually... That is actually pretty impressive. Normal guardsmen cannot handle something of that magnitude. Oh, we have a Krieg trooper. I wonder who's stronger, a Krieg or a Katachan? Let's see. A Krieg stands no chance whatsoever. Is there a different variant or is it gonna be the same? No, it's this. Oh, wait. Oh, they actually do have different variants. Yeah, this mod is ridiculous. I can't praise it enough, to be fair. I've already been recording for longer than I intended. I'm just gonna be using the Narlok as the testing dummy for the Imperium because genuinely this video will be too long if I actually move on to the another faction or another faction or anything of that matter. Whoever might as well show a commissar. Uh, might as well give you some guards. Fight! Come on, commissar. I believe you can do it. There we go. All right. Let's see whether a small platoon will be able to take out the dinosaur. <laughs> what? What did you just hear? But it would be incredible if the commissar actually gave a boost to the guardsmen. I mean, I guess maybe for at least the Katachan it could be that it gives them strength boost or something like that and those morons actually literally just jumped in lava. I mean, I guess lava is definitely not even remotely as scary as their home planet, so it is what it is. And yes, I'm gonna be saying that over and over again until I stop using these guys. And they actually, wait, are they, they are literally killing it from lava? Are they, wait, 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 I think they're gonna die from the lava, but not, they lost because they stood in lava. They didn't lose because they were fighting, they lost because they were swimming in lava while fighting it. And that's not a joke or anything, that's a literal fact of reality. Huh. I'm just gonna leave it at that and... Later. The hero of the Imperium. You are Forward, you dogs, to victory! He has 300 and... Fun question. Is he actually gonna go after me if I... No, okay, because I'm of the Imperium faction, he actually doesn't go after me. Fair enough. I can't express how much I love the fact that the mod creator also made so that the different humans are actually shorter. Is the space money in the stall as the player? Oh, fun fact, no. The player is actually taller. I thought it might be the case that the armor I'm using specifically is causing it, but anyway. This dinosaur can scythe a skein. And if scythe a skein wins this, I'm gonna use other species as well. Because this is just insane. I think he actually is probably gonna win, isn't he? Wait. 12 seconds later. He's lost that much and this thing is in half health already i think unironically him falling into this little place of water i thought that he was gonna get doomed for it but no that actually played to his advantage canonically accurate in so many ways that i can't explain so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna stop using this let's move on to some other creatures as enemies and i'm not using cyber scan he's just gonna slaughter everything it's too unfair Eventually, if this actually exists, no, it cannot exist. I refuse to believe this is actual lore. I've never heard it. I know for a fact I would have heard it somehow, some way. I don't know everything about Warhammer, not even remotely. I don't know the very, very top of the giant iceberg that is Warhammer, but I know that I would have heard at least one joke about the Swarm Mistress if it actually exists. The embodiment of heresy is all I can say. But anyway, and there's even more types of guardsmen I didn't even get to show. All right, sure. An Arctic guardsman. And yeah. It's also very possible I even missed a guardsman version somewhere. Let's have two space marines against a swarm mistress. A blood raven and an ultramarine. All right. 
right, move away a little bit. Yep, it's so odd. Wait, are these two actually gonna win? I didn't even... This thing has 500... You know, a definite proof that humanity is objectively superior. In so many ways. It's difficult to describe. A few moments later... No, they're just obliterating the... I was about to say, poor creature, how dare I? I almost... I almost committed heresy, I'm truly sorry for that, but I think this is the strongest turnit in the mod. And two space marines absolutely obliterated it. They destroyed it so quickly that now I know for a fact everything else I have in the video is also gonna devastate it, like a chimera tank. How much damage? It does only 10 damage. Wow, really? Actually, now to think about it. No, you know, a tank definitely will do more damage than a <laughs> space marine weapon, right? But yeah, Swarm Mister is just... I guess she's nowhere near the top. 15 minutes later. I'm just moving on to the coolest thing that I think has been added. The actual Dreadnought. I now have a lot of different Xenos against this Dreadnought. Oh wow, it actually has some awesome animations. Blood Crusader against a Dreadnought. Let's just go ahead and see. Oh, alright, alright. Fire. Fair enough. And it has taken... Basically zero damage. Cool, 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 cool. We have a flayed one. You know, obviously you know, this is just a Minecraft model, but I just imagined how it would look actually. And that is kind of disturbing, just to think about it. Yeah, just... But anyway, uh, flayed one... Oh, I guess the Necrons are made incredibly durable. Yeah, 30 armor. <laughs> this has 5 armor. A Space Marine has 30. I don't think the Space Marine should have less than 30, not even remotely. Just that maybe the Dread Dot should have a little more. I understand that it's because of the insane age people, but still. Yep. Let's just end it with the Swarm Mistress against the Dreadnought. It will not be even remotely close. This thing just has close range attacks. <laughs> and now you're in water. Which means that you're never even gonna be close to getting to a Dreadnought. It just doesn't feel grand enough. As an ending. 20 minutes later. All right, how is it looking? Uh, bunch of orcs, some dreadnoughts, right? A lot of fire warriors that they just summoned or pathfinders, whatever. And yep. Well, anyway, if or rather when I make another video on this, I'll figure out how I'm supposed to activate the nuclear bomb. But for now, I do hope you found the video. There's a video there, search out there, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.